after the release of Bendy and the Dark Revival, all the Bendy fans and I think the whole entire indie game community just was left with wanting a whole bunch more for Bendy because that game was definitely a huge jump up in quality, story, gameplay, and everything from the original Bendy and Ink Machine game. And we can all admit, right now in the Bendy community, there is just nothing after Bendy and the Dark Revival. Yes, it's been almost finally, like, what, four to five months since the game came out. It's not a long period. It's not like waiting two to three years and we still got nothing. We do know that the Melee is working on something, and that's why in this video, we'll be covering all the possibilities and what could possibly come next for Bendy in the future. Like, what's next? What's after Bendy and the Dark Revival? So without further ado, let's go and talk about all the possible outcomes and everything that be coming out with, you know, well, but the theories and some things actually having some evidence behind it. So without further ado, let's go and um, hop into the video. So the very first thing that could be coming out next for Benny that they're working on that's actually, you know, I guess under like uh, wraps is actually a mobile port for Bendy and Dark Revival. Why are we thinking about this? Because, you know, that game is like huge, you know, it's all five chapters. It's pretty big. Well, as someone stated on Twitter, I'm probably going to get the, put the photo on the screen. But if you don't see, that's probably because I'm lazy or I'm editing. But if you see, that means, you know, I put my effort into it, meaning you should probably continue watching. <laughs> Thank you. Anywho, so they said that it looks like Bendy is actually Dark Revival been updating their the whole game and the Steam file have been shrinking smaller and smaller without changing or removing anything from the game meaning that they could be looking forward to a whole you know downgrade could be looking for like you know what security security breach did with the whole nintendo switch release they're probably looking at ways to downgrade it so they could be on mobile and who knows it could be doing like what public playtime is doing a chapter by chapter release they just releasing chapter one two three four and five as separate different ones you could pay or they're going to be possibly releasing it as one big huge game which i do think the one big game is better but at the end of the day if you want to have good quality on a mobile i feel like separate releases might be a little bit better but nobody wants to have a whole set of ink chapters downloaded so you know who knows that's right now most likely the biggest thing they're working on or maybe not even working on they just want to make the steam file smaller who knows? But the next thing they could be possibly working on is a brand new DLC, but this is literally the slimmest chance in existence, and let me tell you why. Also, I, I came across like a YouTube video saying, new DLC? Question mark. It was only like a few seconds long. You, if you're a Bendy fan and watch Bendy videos, you probably are recommended the same thing, because we all know in the archives update, I did a whole entire video talking about it. It told you descriptions, things you did not know about these characters, and when you walked across Tom, it said that, well not Tom, I mean Boris, you know? I mean, yeah, it was Tom, not Boris. Boris is not in there. We saw the Tom model, and then after that, it said how, you know, his counterpart, Boris, may actually be going on his own dock survival of his own. So, after reading that, everybody's like, yo, what's that? A brand new sequel? A brand new DLC? That could be the case. We could be getting ourselves our own DLC and our own different adventure in, you know, Boris's perspective in the whole inky world with, uh, you know, uh, what's his name again? Wilson in it. But, there, you know, everybody and I think even I thought of that whole conclusion when I first saw it, that this is talking about Boris and the Dark Survival, the game that came out to, you know, hype up the release and make everyone calm while waiting for Bendy and the Dark Revival. It already came out, it's like a dollar. They don't have a mobile release, I don't think so, but it's on PC and Steam, but, um, it's, it's like a up, it plays on top, it's a lower quality version, but, you know, it's, it's still pretty good, but that's probably what they meant by that, his own Dark Survival. That's why Boris is probably not inventing Dark Revival, meaning that the next thing that can come out is not probably a DLC, but who knows? It doesn't have to be a Boris DLC. It could be anyone else's DLC, so who knows? It is a good possibility, like, what Security Breach is doing, but at this point, we have no entire idea, but let's go talk about the next and last, probably, final idea of what could be coming next for Bendy. A brand new Bendy game. So, right now, we do know the Melee said that he's working on something, we're right back to work after finishing Bendy and Dark Revival. For what he's working on right now, it still remains a mystery. He could be working on, you know, Showdown Bandit, re-releasing or remaking the entire Showdown Bandit, because if you do not know, that was a game that kind of did not do well when it first came out. So right now, we did be getting some hints for like the past year or two about them going to be reviving, like the Ben Duck revival, you know, but there's no concrete evidence of them actually saying they're going to do that. They could be working on that, or they could be working on a brand new Bendy game, or they could just be working on their own brand new project. But all we know right now is that they're working on something, and we have no idea what it is. Most likely, when we get closer to release date, they're going to be announcing it soon, but I think that 
I think that the best, I mean, the thing that could be working on right now is Showdown Bandit because they want to probably revive that and make it a good game or probably Bendy or a brand new game. It's just switching between that. We have literally no other idea. But with the whole town end and post credit scene in Bendy Dark Revival with the giant corporation reclaiming the position of the ink machine, it definitely hints at a brand new sequel. And of course, the Bendy creator said, okay, he said, you know, the whole Bendy story that it was extremely good release like that and how only he'll only make another Bendy game or only make more Bendy content if there's a need for Bendy content. If he's doing it, that means he's not doing it just for money. The only reason why he would actually go and release a brand new game or more content is because it's actually needed and it's interesting and it's something that people want to see. That's only when he's going to do it. And I think they could be working on that, or they're probably still brainstorming and think of an actual good idea that people want to see, but there is a possibility. He didn't mention it, but who actually knows? That's why I do think, and everybody came with this whole idea of the Bendy and the Jet Corporation being the next game. My whole idea was, you know, the whole Bendy and the Doc, Pu uh, Doc Puddles being a whole uh, April Fool's prank I did. Uh, 8,000 people fell for it. I I'm sorry, guys. I I'm sorry. But yes, guys, what do you guys think the next game is going to be? Is it going to be the Jet Corporation? Is it going to be, you know a DLC? Is it going to just be add-ons to the game, adding a new area, adding new things like that? What do you think is going to be the future for the Bendy franchise? With the whole entire lawsuit still up in the air with Fat Mojo and, you know, the Kindly Beast or Joey Juice Studio still at that lawsuit for half, almost half a billion dollars just because of the toys failed, but everyone's assuming it's because the toys failed for Showdown Bandit. So what do you think? Are they working on a Showdown Bandit game to give the rights for Showdown Bandit to Fat Mojo? so they can make their own successful IP. What do you think they're doing with that? Is that the reason why we're not going to get a Bendy content immediately? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know all you guys' theories of what you want to see for a future Bendy and if you think that any of these ideas or any of these, uh, you know, theories could possibly come out, could possibly happen. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.